I think about like the hypothalamus as being kind of like the foreman in a warehouse, the one who's kind of shouting like, hey, we need this job done. And the pituitary is going to receive that message and it's going to then signal to the organ to do its job. And once that job is done, the customer who receives the product is going to give feedback and say, everything is great, we got what we needed. We're going to figure out, you know, what, what's actually going on and what's happening with all this messaging in our body. And then we're going to look at Eleutherococcus, which is the herb that we're going to talk about later, and how adaptogens, which is a class of herbs that help us with balancing and how that's going to help us to be able to look at some of these changes on a cellular level and how can we create change and bring things back into balance. When people are depleted and they are overwhelmed, they're afraid of feeling energy again. It's like different. You know, they're used to feeling a little tired, a little fatigued, and sure they want help, but, but when they begin to feel this energy that's coming back into their body, there's, there's a little bit of um, just a, an anxiety about moving forward with that. So I wanted to point out the difference between adaptogens and stimulants. Um, they are not stimulants, and, and here's why. So when we have adaptogens, we see that the recovery process after that exhaustion, we see that it's high. With stimulants, low. Stimulants deplete energy, adaptogens don't. Um, stimulants are, have a p addiction potential, whereas adaptogens don't. Um, stimulants have side effects, you guys know that. Adaptogens, it's, only, it's very rare, and usually in cases where people didn't use them appropriately. And this last one, this is really what we're going to be um, exploring today. The adaptogens work in part by protein synthesis. They help our cells have gene expression of whatever it is that cell is supposed to do. Stimulants decrease that. So you get this energy, but it's, it's about a cellular intelligence energy and efficiency within the cell, whereas with stimulants, it's superficial and it's very exhausting. Okay, so now we know why, or at least a little taste of why, Eleuthero is used to normalize any physiological, biochemical, or immunological defect. Because it's working on a cellular level everywhere. Um, it's preventing damage, it's helping us respond to stressors more quickly, it's helping us restore more deeply, it's clearing waste, it's encouraging cell growth, improving the navigation of those cells, um, and really deeply helping with our immune system intelligence.